Hi guys, welcome to Gord's Garage. In this episode, we're going to do a ski swap on the Lynx to the MXZ. Sometimes, you know, when you wake up in the middle of the night, you had an idea. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. But today, I'm thinking that these skis on these Lynx are magical. So, are they going to work on the ski -Doo? That's what we're going to find out today. So, we're going to take those skis off, we're going to show you the bottoms, and then we're going to take it out for a test ride, and we're going to give you a result. Alright guys, so this is the Blade XC Ski. It's a single keel ski, and it's got a three-step procedure on the bottom of this ski, which I think is one of the key reasons it's handled so well. It's a little wider, obviously, than the 5.7, but today we're going to take them off and put them on the MXZ, do a little ski swap, and then see how it actually rides. I'll show you the ski. Three-step. Single keel, looks very straightforward, but these things are just magical on the trail. So we're going to see if they're going to be working just as nice on the ski do today. All right, so first step, I'm going to get those 5.7s off. And quickly show you the bottom. I like to run the second carbide on the 5.7. Saves the side of the ski from wear and gives you a little bit of extra bite just in the last section of that corner. So this is what we had on, and of course we're going to put the Blade XC's on, so let's get to it. Alright, so we're just going to tighten up the uh, ski bolt here on the Blade XC's. Alright guys, so the Lynx skis are on the ski do and they actually look good color wise, they bolt right on. Are they magical? We're going to find out on the trail. Okay guys, so we've got the Pilot 5.7 skis on. Now we've just installed the adjustable forward riser, which we like. The Lynx came with a 90mm short riser, so we're going to go with the adjustable riser. It gives us a little bit of height and a little bit of adjustability. We're going to try the 5.7 skis on it to see what happens there, and uh, we're going to go try the link do out. See you on the trail. Okay guys, we're back from the ride, and we put the Blade XCs on the MXZ. And I'm going to come back to you guys and give you the real skinny on that ski. So yesterday we put about 200 kilometers on. We got to drive them in a bunch of different scenarios. We got some groom trails, some off trails. And absolutely, without a doubt, those skis are magical. They do work beautifully. And if you put them on your ski do, if you got a backcountry, that ski would be an ideal swap. The great thing about them, even on the MXZ, Going through the corners at speed where the 5.7s would chatter a little bit, going around the corner. These things curve and they're smooth. So I'm not sure if they make them in black. I'm not sure exactly what the cost is on those skis, and they are going to be scarce to get. But if you get your hands on a set of Blade XCs, don't be scared to bolt them on your Ski Do backcountry next year.